Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video we are going to be reviewing the new Sigma and Angela Bride collaboration collection they sent over the PR box and so I'm going to be using this stunning palette that I cannot wait to show you. We'll use the lashes, we of course will use her favorite Sigma brushes. You guys, Look at how amazing she looks. The colors in this palette are incredible. I cannot wait to get into it. So if you're excited for today's video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and let's go ahead and get started. As you can see, I've already done most of my makeup and everything I'm wearing on my face today will be listed and linked down below, as will this absolutely stunning Sigma and Angela Bright collection. So if you are interested in any of the products that we're talking about in today's video, please check out the description box for the links. Whenever you shop my links, you are helping out my channel. So let's go ahead and unbox everything. By the way, I apologize that this video is coming like a day late, but yesterday was the ninth month anniversary, we'll say, um, since my grandma passed away and I did not have the mindset to sit down and film or work. I couldn't do much all day yesterday, just read my book. Let's open the brushes first. I wanna see which ones are Angela's favorite Sigma brushes. We have the E28, which is a detailed buffer brush. E42, which is a precise firm blending brush. E33, detailed diffuse crease brush. This one feels very nice and soft. E27, which is their detailed blending brush. And the E57, which is a firm shader brush. These bright lashes are super cute. They look very natural, and as you can see, they're like half lashes. I can't wait to try them. And of course, the star of the show is this Angela Bright and Sigma palette right here, which looks absolutely incredible. I can't wait to swatch it. This palette has 14 different shades. As you can see, there's some really nice, fun pops of color in here. We have some shimmers, some mattes, and I love that there's a combination of pops of color with some other more basic shades that you can combine to create some really stunning eye looks. If you don't know who Angela Bright is, which I doubt, definitely check out her YouTube channel. She's been making a ton of content with her palette. She creates some incredibly beautiful eye looks. So obviously highly recommend that you check her out. I'm going to leave her channel linked down below in the description box. And Angela, if you're watching, congratulations on this absolutely stunning collab. Okay, let's go ahead and swatch the palette. Starting with row number one, we have the shades Bright. Super pigmented, very creamy. This one is called Basic, which is a transition-y shade type matte, also very creamy. And then we have 2015 right here. PDX, which is a stunning matte teal. Hollywood, which is a beautiful gold duochrome. And the shade Peachy, which is self-explanatory. <laughs> the last color of the first row is called Autumn. Shmugala, I think. Hopefully I'm pronouncing that right. Shmugala, maybe? <laughs> this next shimmer looks incredible. It's called Champagne Problems. Really nice and shiny. I love it. Then we have Evermore, which is this really nice warm orangey shade. And the color Zinfandel, I think, which is this really beautiful pink. And then the last three shades are Bear, which is a beautiful base color. Faye which is an emerald green shimmer shade, and Cold Brew, which is a beautiful neutral matte brown. This color story is perfection. I feel like there is something in here for absolutely everyone. You like colorful looks, this palette has them. You like basic looks, this palette has them. You can use this color story for any occasion throughout any season of the year. Winter, summer, spring or fall, it doesn't matter. You have colors here that will match. So I truly feel like the color curation of this palette is superb. I love it. And I can't wait to finally create a look with it, so let's go ahead and go for it. The first brush I'm going to use is the E28 with the color Bare right here. And I'm going to add this color all over my eyelid. I'm not wearing an eyeshadow primer today, but I did put concealer on my eyelid, so I'm just going to set that concealer with the color Bare all throughout my eyelid and all the way up to right under my brow. All right, I just got you guys a little closer so you can see better. I'm going to use the color Basic next with the same brush. And I'm going to first tap it where I want it, which is this 
outer half of my crease and outer third of the eyelid and then once it's there we are going to blend it into the previous color by just swiping my brush back and forth through any edges switching to the e33 i'm grabbing this brown color right here and i'm going to stamp it on the outer third of my eyelid into the crease a little bit and then i'm going to just blend the edges with the same brush also adding it to the inner third of my eyelid i'm going to do a halo eye a little bit more back here and let's blend those edges and i'm connecting the shade right here through the crease and take your time diffusing the upper edge I made the other eye match and I'm going to grab the darkest matte brown next to add it right here on the outer third of the eyelid and blend it into the mid-tone brown we used. But I'm only going to add it to the outer third of my eyelid. I'm not going to put it in the inner third. And I'm still using that same small blending brush. I know you're looking at all of the beautiful colors in this palette and you're probably like, why are you using only the browns? But I decided I wanted to have fun with color underneath, not on top as much, so bear with me. I'm going to use the color Hollywood next. This is going to be the center of the eyelid shade, and I'm just going to pat it right here in the middle. This is a dual chrome gold green shade, which is beautiful. Just packing it in place here, right through the center. And the same thing over on this side. With my blending brush, I'm going to go over the edges of the shimmer so that it blends nicely into the matte colors. E57 brush from Sigma, and I think I want to bring in the shimmer a little more, so I'm just going to tap it in just a bit here. Yeah, I like that better, so let me just do the same thing over on this side. Just tapping in the color Hollywood a bit more towards the inner corner. And right in the middle, I'm going to try a little bit of champagne problems just to add a bit more sparkle to the center of the eye. Yeah, I like that it looks a bit brighter. With the E42, I'm also adding champagne problems to the inner corner right here. Obviously, this is the perfect inner corner shade. And now for the under eye, I want to use the shade PDX with my E27. So I'm just going to run that color through my lower lash line just back and forth down here. With that same brush and the color Bare, I'm going to smoke out that teal color down here. I need a teal eyeliner to make this look come together, so this is Deep End from Urban Decay. And I'm just going to add it right here to the waterline of my eye. I'm also adding a half wing with the 24-7 eyeliner from Urban Decay in black. Adding some mascara next. Here's the look with just mascara on, and of course I want to use Angela's half lashes as well, so let me put these on. The half lashes are on, I absolutely love them. I feel like if you are a beginner with falsies, definitely start with a half lash because it is much easier than doing the full strip, and these are nice and full, and honestly I love the way everything came out. I was a bit doubtful halfway through the look, I'm not gonna lie, I was like, did I choose the right combination of colors? But I feel like it came out beautiful. Anyways, let me put on some lipstick and some blush to finish up this makeup look. I'm using my Muted Mauve Lip Liner from Anastasia, and also from Anastasia I'm going to use the Coral Lip Gloss for Blush Bright Coral from Gucci. I was definitely in need of some blush, but I didn't want to pick a color before I did my eyes. Alright, and so this is officially the final look right here. I absolutely love the way everything came out. The palette performed amazingly. I would recommend doing your eyes before you do the rest of your complexion because I did have a little bit of fallout, which thankfully I was very, very easily able to clean up. You literally cannot see it at all. I had set my under eyes with some translucent powder already, so it just kind of flickered off very easily but just in case i would recommend doing your eyes first that is my preferred method of makeup application in general i usually don't do it when i'm filming because it's easier for me to have my face done when i'm filming but whenever i do my makeup not for a video i always do my eyes first it is just the easiest way to get rid of any fallout anyways you can tell 
Angela's love for eyeshadow looks and eyeshadow application in the creation of this incredible color story because this palette has everything you could possibly imagine in its 18 shades. If you want an intense smoky eye, you have deep matte shades to deepen up your crease with. With the color Bear right here, you can smoke out any of the matte colorful shades in this palette. If you want color, you have it. If you want shimmer, you have it. If you want sparkle, you have it. You have a perfect inner corner shade. You also have neutral shades, warm shades, cool tone shades. Anything you can possibly want a palette to do, you can do with these 14 shades right here. I think that this color story is genius. So a huge congratulations to Angela on her collaboration with Sigma. If you guys are interested in this palette or anything else from this collection, don't forget to check the links down in the description box of this video and don't forget to follow Angela if you want a ton of different eyeshadow looks with this palette. If you guys like today's video don't forget to please give it a thumbs up before you leave don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love you guys so so much. Thank you for watching today's video and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye!